For us, the whole idea of um, really engaging journalists is to ensure that we are also able to um, provide the needed support when it comes to ensuring that the reporting or the stories that go out are contributing to peace, are contributing to development. Um, I, I know sometimes people always ask the question of uh, what about sharing the truth? But then what does the truth do to the community? Those are the things that we need to also think about. If that truth that you think you would share would end up burning communities, why do you share it? Why do you put it out there? So the sensitivities around the reporting that we share is also very uh, important. Uh, this particular training is part of a broader project that is on uh, preventing and responding to violent extremism in the Atlantic Corridor um, area. And we have a number of countries that are part of the project. So we have Togo, we have Benin, we have Ghana, Burkina Faso, and then we have Cote d'Ivoire as the countries that are uh, on this particular project. And uh, we have four main uh, development partners or donors that are supporting uh, it currently. We have the government of Denmark, we have the government of Norway, we have the government of Australia, and then we have the government of uh, Germany. But this particular activity is supported uh, fully by the government of Norway. And uh, we believe that whatever you have learned, uh, we cannot do everything. You will not be able to learn everything within these uh, two and a half days. But that is why the materials are also being shared with you. And that is why you also have the contacts of the uh, team, the facilitating team, where you can follow up with them. And then they can also share materials. And I think um, the first day when I was listening to the discussion, somebody was talking about other trainings. And usually there are some free trainings that also come. I think uh, either last year or two, um, a few months back, there was actually a call to train journalists, which was for free, on some of these issues. But unfortunately, we didn't have uh, your contacts that we could have shared with you. And this was a global training, you know, targeting journalists. And I think now that we know um, that you are interested in some of these uh, global trainings, once we have these uh, links shared with us, we will share with you as well. So I hope that the emails that you have provided are correct. And so uh, once we receive them, also we will forward to you. Because also in the course of Ghana having an election, there will definitely be a lot of um, trainings along these areas. And we think that I mean, for learning, it is a continuous process. Like we just said earlier on, we unlearn things and then we learn new uh, things. So let's not just be static with the things that we think we know. But sometimes the mistake we make is that we assume that, oh, we know so much, we know what is going on in the community, but things are evolving. Things are evolving. So let's be open-minded, let's be ready to learn from others. And let's also be ready to respect what others expect us to treat them and how we want to be treated. But that is at the core of ensuring that there is peace. Because most of these conflicts that we see, if you go in detail, a lot of the issues are around how people think that they are being treated unfairly. And so our messaging and our communication should ensure that we are uniting people for a peaceful world, for achieving the sustainable development goals. I mean, 2030 is not too far. And sometimes the question I ask is, are we really going to be able to achieve these SDGs when 2030 comes and then the assessment is being done in Ghana? Will we have achieved the SDGs? You know, so let's also make sure that our efforts are towards contributing to this effort that we uh, want to um, have at the end of the day. We believe that, I mean, for radio, for TV, for online platforms, that is where people get a lot of their information. But last year, we conducted an assessment. And um, for most of the young people, the analysis showed that they relied on social media for most of their information. And for mostly the elderly people, they rely on radio and then TV. So even though you have different categories of people relying on different platforms, but you, you see that everybody tells you 
they follow news or they listen to news based on some of these platforms. And who are those behind these platforms? Most of them are you. So what are the information that you are sharing with these uh, people to ensure that they understand the issues that are going on in our country and then they can also uh, support the development agenda. So I just want to say thank you, but it shouldn't end here. Continue to learn, continue to share, continue to engage. And when there are also the opportunities, we'll also continue to uh, reach out to you. As part of the project, there are some components that also look at um, having media engagements and even radio programs and TV programs. So for some of you in some of the locations that the project is uh, being implemented, once we have the contacts, we would always uh, keep in touch, uh, follow up with you. Once we are in your district or in your community, we will reach out to you to also be part of some of those uh, programs. So we can even together document the successes of some of the events or some of the programs that we do towards preventing violent extremism and also ensuring that uh, there's peace in Ghana as we are moving towards the 2024 elections. I mean, we all know the challenges that our sub-region has faced, but I think Ghana has been resilient and we want to continue to be a resilient nation. We want to continue to be the shining star when it comes to democracy and having a peaceful um, election. Yeah. So thank you very much.